Hello Pisces, welcome to your monthly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading will resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Looks like someone's thinking very logically here. Okay, we have the King of Swords that's popped out. We have the Eagle with love. So it looks like there's a spiritual love connection here. Okay, uh, definitely in the ethers. Almost feels telepathic sometimes. Uh, possibly can feel each other's energy. We have forgiveness is a liberating choice. Yeah, past life soulmate. You've had many past lives together. So this is some type of uh, either soulmate or twin flame situation. Overall energy, we have the page of pentacles. This is about progress as well as growth. Okay, learning and progressing forward here. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your energy this month. Let's see. We have two of swords, justice, and the six of wands. So it looks like, uh, you know, this month you're definitely making decisions uh, without really looking at who it's going to affect. Whatever decision is best for you, that's what you're going with. And you might have been pretty indecisive in the past on some things uh some of them are minor here, some of them are major, uh, but I do see a lot of, uh, you know, just things going on in your home life or your environment where you might have just been kind of, uh, you know, indecisive on pushing things forward or making decisions. Now, you are getting straight into the point this month. You're very uh, empowered and you have a lot of integrity that you're showing towards people because you're being fair to yourself, okay? So you're not trying to uh, hurt anyone in the process. You're being very humble in a sense as well. Uh, and you end up being very victorious in doing this, okay? So uh, I do see in regards to your person, you feel like there's nothing you can do at this point. Uh, it's gotten this far as possible and there's nothing uh, really that moving forward could really do to make a difference, okay? So let's see what's going on in their energy. So we have Tower, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. So not only is your person missing you like crazy, they are feeling uh, left out in the cold. Uh, they're having the stir, stirring of emotions and feeling on the outs here as if they've lost something so important to them in their life. And they have no one to blame but themselves. But they're wanting a different reality here with the Tower card. Okay, so something unexpected is about to happen. Tell me the Tower. Two of Wands, Ace of Cups, uh, following their heart, finally choosing love. Whereas uh, possibly in the past here, this person might have uh, really neglected love or wanting to choose that as a priority, not seeing the importance of it. Okay, putting other things or people first. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles, please. Seven of Cups, yeah, they are definitely wanting something to change and to change now. They cannot stand it, okay? So let's see what's happened in the past. We have the Six of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Hanged Man. So it seemed like this situation was always left in limbo. It's almost like it stalled. There was nothing going on for a very long time. And uh, you weren't sure if this person was completely done. It's like they just didn't communicate with you for a long period of time. Okay, tell me the Six of Swords. And you were wondering too, when was this going to move forward? And why was this person being, uh, it almost looks sheepish here. Yeah, Page of Cups. So I'm seeing that they had trouble really standing up for themselves when it came to uh, their feelings, emotions, or love in general, okay? Uh, their emotional maturity level, uh, they've never allowed to progress because they haven't focused on love at all. Therefore, they might not have a lot of experience or have gone through a lot of things uh, giving uh, open-heartedly into, okay, on a serious level. So... I see that this kind of triggered them in a way when they got into this connection with you. They didn't realize how strongly they would feel and how much you would impact their life. They felt like uh, they couldn't stop thinking about you and dreaming about you here. 
uh, and it's something where they felt like they needed change, they needed to learn something, but they were not wanting to address it, okay? They were kind of hiding from themselves. Uh, tell with the Page of Cups. I'm also seeing for some of you, they could have been uh, a bit sensitive on the inside, but what they were showing you was very stoic, uh, very cold at times, uh, possibly just acting like nothing phases them, uninterested, but it was definitely a protective barrier because they didn't want anyone to see how they truly feel. Okay, because they don't know how to deal with uh, their deep emotions. Okay, so Nine of Cups, yeah, they knew they meant their dream match. They knew they meant the person that um, they didn't think they'd ever find in this world, and therefore that's why they didn't focus on love. They didn't feel like there was a point uh, to really go after love in general because there are some things that they've seen patterns, okay, in, in their life, in their environment, possibly as a child, uh, that it's, there's no point to giving it to love. It doesn't last, okay? It's not long-term here. So this person kind of got spooked. They felt like, you know, I don't know. This is not going to work out or I can't even be good enough for this person anyways. Okay, so they were showing you a completely different version of themselves. So let's see what the challenge was here. We have the Chariot, the Seven of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so focus was the key ingredient that was missing in this connection. This person needed to choose one or the other. Or if they were going to be in this connection with you, they needed to give all of themselves, right? Or they needed to be honest with you and tell you exactly what they were feeling, even though it was hard to do. Okay, that's, that's what was missing. So they put up a barrier here, Seven of Wands. And with the Knight of Wands, they were definitely uh, inconsistent, very in and out. You couldn't really tell if they were uh, ever really going to come back. I see this being left uh, in limbo for a long time. It almost seems like the last time they left, there was nothing bad or good that happened. They just haven't returned. Okay, so it kind of confused you here and left you feeling like you need to be on guard yourself because they just used me and you got really hurt uh, during this waiting period, okay? So tell me the Knight of Wands. Eight of Cups, Five of Cups. Yeah, because of this person's own emotional status, I would say, uh, they left uh, this connection, but... They fully intended on returning, but they haven't had the guts or the courage. They kind of, you know, rested on their laurels here, let too much time pass before they come back. And now they are more worried and more scared to do so. But I see in the current moments that they can't handle it anymore. This feeling of being without you, uh, being on the outs with you. It's like, I've got to own up to my feelings now. I've got to come forward. They feel like time's ticking and they got to do something now. So let's see what action they take. Well, we have Knight of Cups, Lovers, and the Two of Cups. So if you didn't think anything was ever going to move in this situation, uh, it is. If you ever thought that this was impossible to ever come, overcome this challenge with this person, believe me, the impossible is actually happening because this is going to shock you beyond belief. And why Knight of Cups lovers, Two of Cups, we have a proclamation of love, someone about to do something that is going to change this connection forever, okay? So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action this is, what they're going to say to you moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. But if this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys as always, and I'll see you next time.